Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to solve problem number three from the chapter of force vectors, which is taken from the second chapter of engineering mechanics book, the statics part by R.C. Hibbler. So in this problem, we are being asked to determine the magnitude of force F and the angle theta, which 500 Newton force is making with Y. When the resultant of these two forces is directed vertically upward and has a magnitude of 750 Newton. So let's solve this problem. As these two forces are acting on a hook, so consider this hook first. So let's apply first force. Let's say the first force is F, which makes an angle 30 degrees. So apply this force on the hook. We have another force, which is um, 500 Newton force and making an angle of theta with the Y. So let's apply that force on the hook. And there is third force, which will be due to these two forces. That is actually the resultant of these two forces, which is given and they're acting exactly upward along the Y axis and has a magnitude of 750 Newton. Now we have to determine the magnitude of force F and the angle which 500 Newton force is making with the Y. So in order to solve this, first uh, we can use the head and tail rule so that uh, we can have a triangle first and once we will have triangle then using sign law we can determine the required values. So let's take uh, this F force and place that force on 500 Newton force by taking the tail of the F force and uh, head of the 500 Newton force. And we know that from head to tail rule that the resultant would be from start to the end. This is the one that I'm talking about. So as a whole, what we have got now, we have got this triangle. So let's take this triangle first. So in this triangle where we can see that uh, two sides, this side of uh, resultant 750 is known and also this side of 500 is known, but uh, the third one is not known. So we have to determine that. Now when we are talking about the sine law, we should be knowing the interior angles and also we should be knowing the sides as we have talked about the sides, but how about the interior angles? So this interior angle is theta that is required. This angle we can determine using this uh, force F making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical. So if we use the basics of geometry, we know that the opposite angles would be equal. So if this is 30, this will also be 30. Hence, this angle will also be 30. How about this angle? We don't know. Let's name this uh, angle as alpha. Now let's move on and apply the sine law to determine the required parameters. So this is the triangle that we have got where this angle is 30 and this angle is alpha. So first of all, we can determine this uh, alpha angle using the sine law. We know that uh, sine of uh, any angle, let's say sine alpha divide by the magnitude of the opposite side and opposite side in this case is 750. So we cannot use this uh, side of F and theta because both are uh, unknown. So we cannot use this, but we can use this side where we have uh, magnitude as well as the angle. So sine 30 opposite side is 500. So divide by 500 then. So looking at this uh, equation where we can see that uh, we can determine alpha value. So on doing calculations, we are going to get the value of alpha as 131.41 degrees. So once we have alpha, which is 131.41, we can determine this theta because from the basics of geometry, we know that the summation of all the interior angles in a triangle would be equal to 180. So here we just have got alpha, putting the value of alpha here, equating it equal to 180. So from here, we can determine theta. So on doing calculation, we are going to get 18.6 degrees as the value of theta. Obviously, this triangle is not made according to scale. Now again, applying uh, the sine law where we can determine the magnitude of the F force since one required parameters is just calculated, which is theta. So using sine theta means sine 18.6 degree because the opposite side is F, that's why we are using theta. So F is required here. Now we can use any other side, like we can use this uh, resultant side or you can use this 500 side, it's up to us. So let's use this 500 side where opposite angle is 30. So sine 30 divided by 500. So in this equation where we can see only F 
is unknown so we can determine the value of f by simply cross multiplying these values so on doing calculations we are going to get 319 newton force so this is the answer and this is also the answer so we have got uh, the theta value and also we have got the magnitude of the one of the force which is making the result of 750 newton so this is how such kind of calculations can be done when we are being asked to determine the direction of one force and the magnitude of the other force when the direction and magnitude of the resultant is given to us. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are getting the concepts of determining the basics of force factors. But if you feel any difficulty, please uh, let me know through the comment section so that I can get back to you. Thank you.